Good morning, CMSW. We are continuing our Women's History Month celebration with astronaut Mae Jemsen. When Mae was a little girl, growing up in Chicago in 1960s, she already believed that one day she would go to space. Here she is in the middle of her siblings. Along with the world, she watched NASA's Apollo missions on television, but she was upset there were no female astronauts. She decided she could reach for the stars because of another African-American in space, Lieutenant Uhura, from the original Star Trek series. African-American actress Nichelle Nicholas on the Star Trek television show inspired hundreds of women to apply to NASA in the 1970s. After high school, Mae Jemison went to Stanford University in California. Jemison graduated in 1977 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Chemical Engineering and a Bachelor of Arts degree in African and African American Studies. Then she went to medical school at Cornell. Fluent in three foreign languages, Jemison joined the Peace Corps in 1983 and served as a medical officer for two years in Africa. It was in 1983 that Mae Jemison decided to make her dream of going to space a reality. When Sally Ride became the first American woman in space in 1983, Jemison decided to apply to the astronaut program at NASA. She first applied in 1985, but after the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded in 1986, NASA took a break from accepting new people. However, Jemison applied again in 1987 and was one of the f 15 people chosen out of over 2,000 applications. She was selected for NASA Astronaut Group 12, which was the first group chosen after the Challenger exploded. After being selected, Jemison trained with NASA and worked on projects at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. On September 12, 1992, Jemison became the first black female astronaut to travel to space in an agency's history. She served on NASA's STS-47 mission, which orbited the Earth for nearly eight days. Jemison left NASA in 1993 and founded a technology research company. After hearing that she was a fan of the Star Trek television show, actor LeVar Burton asked Jemison to appear in an episode. Jemison agreed and became the first real astronaut to be on an episode of the Star Trek The Next Generation. She played Lieutenant Palmer in the episode Second Chances. For her work for NASA and for how she broke barriers for women, Mae Jemison has inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame and the International Hall Space of Hall of Fame. Right now, Jemison is leading the 100-year Starship Project through the United States Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. This project works to make sure human space travel to another star is possible within the next 100 years. May Jemison achieved her dream of going to space. Do you have a dream? Here is May's advice to you. The best way to make dreams come true is to wake up. How about some dreamy out of this world jokes? Which animal was first in space? The cow who jumped over the moon. Why does Saturn have the best name in the universe? It has a nice ring to it. What do you get when you cross a lamb and a rocket? A space sheep. What do you call a wizard on a NASA space mission? A flying sorcerer. What do you win in talent competition for stars? A constellation prize. What do you call an alien pet? An extraterrestrial. Did you hear about the alien who stepped in gum? It got stuck in orbit. That's our Out of This World show for today, Westies. Except for another trivia question from Mr. Songer for Music in Our Schools Month. Here goes. This Sunday, our band program is having a fundraiser. It's not an ordinary fundraiser. They're selling mattresses. If you or anyone in your family are in need of a new mattress for your bed, come out to the band mattress fundraiser. It's this Sunday, March 20th, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. in the large gym. A huge variety of sizes, styles, and name brands will be available. In honor of that sale, our trivia question is about sleeping. What is the biggest hit song ever with the word sleep in the title? We repeat, what is the biggest hit song ever with the, world, with the word sleep in the title? Hint, it's from the 1960s and it's by a band called The Tokens. Put your answer in the bin in the main office by your for your chance to win a candy bar. That's our show for today, Westies. We will be back next Thursday with another show. Bye! Bye.